They're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. So an Oklahoma Republican official has been recalled, and he was voted out of office for his association with neo-Nazis and white supremacist groups. I know you're probably thinking, a Republican? Like, they actually cared about that? Yeah, I mean, it's an election year, so that's probably part of it. But as you all know, the 2017 Unite the Right march turned deadly because one of the racists in that group rammed his car into counter protesters and he killed a young woman named Heather Heyer. So it was just recently revealed that Oklahoma City Council member Judd Blevins took part in that march. This is Judd Blevins in 2017. Tiki torch in hand in Charlottesville, Virginia, marching alongside avowed white supremacists and neo-Nazis. So Blevins has also been tied to other white nationalist groups. There's one called Identity Europa, which he led actually from 2017 to 2019. And when Blevin was questioned about these associations, he told NBC News, quote, if speaking out against what was being done to this country, what is continuing to be done to this country is a crime, then I would gladly plead guilty to that. What exactly is being done to this country other than racist, killing people, terrorizing people? I mean, if he wants to speak out on that, he can do that all day long. No one would mind, but no, he's on the other side of that. And then when he was pressed about this, he was pressed about his views, Blevins would only say that his involvement with these groups was based on, quote, the same issues that got Donald Trump elected in 2016, securing America's borders, reforming our legal immigration system, and frankly, pushing back on this anti-white hatred that is so common in media and entertainment. Anti-white hatred, yeah. These white fright crybabies just crack me up. They're perpetual victims. They live in a state of perpetual victimhood. They're like sucking their thumbs over in a corner. Oh, it's so hard to be a a white man in America. (laughs) Yeah, remember all those white men that were rounded up and hung (laughs) for no reason just because of their skin color? Oh, don't want to go back to that. Anyway, uh, so Blevins also brushed off concerns about his part in the Charlottesville March, where he chanted, Jews will not replace us. He told NBC News, quote, One day in Virginia five years ago, or seven, is not really relevant to the next three years in Enid, which is the city that he represents. And he claims that he's, quote, opposed to all forms of racial hate and racial discrimination. (laughs) He actually said that with a straight face. Really? (laughs) Really? ABC News reports that Blevins has a secret online account where he was posting blatantly racist comments and thoughts under the name of Conway. Blevins had been an active leader in the white nationalist group Identity Europa. According to an analysis of photos, biographical details, and other information, Blevins hid his white nationalist identity behind the online moniker Conway. In private online forums reviewed by NBC News, Blevins, as Conway, posted racist messages and praised Hitler. So, yeah, there you go. And Blevins denies this. He denies that this is his account. But the city's mayor and the city's attorney that he represents told NBC News that Blevins admitted this to them. He admitted to them that he wrote all of these posts during a closed door meeting with them in November of 2023. And these are Republicans. These are not, you know, liberal Antifa members. These are Republicans, conservatives in that state. And, you know, thanks to the recall efforts by a local group, Blevins is now out. So residents elected another Republican. It's it's still very conservative there. Um, Cheryl Patterson was elected to take his place. 
And after Blevins was ousted, he gave a very MAGA statement to a local news outlet. He said in part, quote, it took a coalition of leftists and moderates and all out media blitz from local, state and national outlets and scare tactics about the future of Vance AFB unfounded in any truth or reality, yet shamefully endorsed by the establishment to remove a true conservative from office. So be it. This was a trial, not just for me, but for many in this community. And many have shown who they really serve. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, if it was a trial for many people in his community, yeah, maybe a trial of white supremacists. And yeah, the, the jury has spoken. <laughs> You're not welcome. You're the ones that we want to build a wall around. You're the ones that should be kept out of this country. So, you know, again, I ask Republicans, if your words and actions aren't racist, then why is it that you keep attracting so many white supremacists like this guy to your party? I mean, if flies kept buzzing around my shoe, I'd check to see if maybe there's a piece of shit stuck to the bottom. I'm just saying. And just to save you the trouble, Republicans, yes, you do have a piece of orange excrement stuck to your shoe, and that is what's attracting the flies. So anyway, I will let you know if I hear any more, but uh, yeah, another, another one down. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber, become a donor if you can, or leave her a tip or a super thanks. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.